डियर स्टूडेंट्स लेट्स डिस्कस क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर द एब्सोल्यूट रिफ्रैक्टिव इंडिसज ऑफ ग्लास एंड वाटर आर फोर बाई थ्री एंड थ्री बाई टू रिस्पेक्टिवली इफ द स्पीड ऑफ लाइट इन ग्लास इज टू इन टू टेन स्पॉ एट मीटर पर सेकेंड कैलकुलेट द स्पीड ऑफ लाइट इन वैक्यूम एंड वाटर इट्स अ टू मार्क क्वेश्चन यू कैन सी है सो वेन एवर यू आर गोइंग टू अटेम्प्ट क्वेश्चन इट इज ऑलवेज यू नो एडवाइजल टू राइट ऑल द डाटाज विच आर गिवन इन द क्वेश्चन so refractive index you know the symbol of refractive index is what you, you can also use it mu or you can use it what n right so i'm going to use it n here so refractive index for glass is basically what if you see it is what you uh, 4 by 3 and uh, refractive indices for water is given that is what your ng equals uh, sorry not ng it is what nw and that is equals to basically if you see it is what 3 by 2 uh now what is given next uh, if the speed of light in glass so speed of light in glass is given that is what your 2 into uh 10 is per 8 uh meter per second calculate the speed of light in vacuum so you have to calculate c that is your speed of light in vacuum and you have to calculate vw that is the speed of light in water right so very simple uh, whenever you are attempting a question re uh, regarding this refractive indices uh, keep two actually uh, facts in your mind the first one is what your refractive index that is absolute refractive index absolute refractive index that is mu or maybe you can use it n so basically what n equals is equals to basically the velocity of light in vacuum upon the velocity of light of that medium the medium for which you are going to calculate this refractive index so this is the first formula from here you can easily say that uh, you, you know your refractive index is inversely proportional to the velocity uh, uh, of light in that medium and and the second formula is basically what if you see the refractive index of suppose medium 1 and refractive index of medium 2 that is equals to basically what v2 by v1 so uh, by using these two formulas it is very easy to uh, you know uh, answer this particular question so let's uh, first we will do the first uh, part of this question that is what you have to calculate the speed of light in vacuum so use this formula so n n n g equals to the velocity of light in vacuum and n g is basically the refractive index of glass and uh, v is basically of course the velocity of light in glass so wh what is that Uh, if you see ng is given at is this is what your 4 by 3 so this is what your first part equals to c by vz and what is vz that is your velocity uh, light in glass that is 2 into 10 to the power 8 when you will calculate so this c will come around 4 into 2 8 by 3 so that will come around 2.67 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second so this is your first part done now uh, moving to the second part so if you will move to the second part so this is what what you have to calculate you have to calculate the speed of light in water so use this formula use this formula so that is what your uh, refractive index of glass upon refractive index of water equals to velocity of light in water upon velocity of light in glass okay so um, this is what this is given refractive this is 4 by 3 and refractive index of light in this is what in water is what 3 by 2 so this is 4 by 3 upon 3 by 2 and the velocity of light in water that you have to calculate and velocity of ga, uh, you know light in uh, in glass it was given 2 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second so velocity of light in water will be what 2 into 10 to the power 8 into 4 by 3 into 2 by 3 so when you will calculate 4 into 2 into 2 16 by 9 so 16 by 9 in 